painted, you done already seen them thumbnails, right? So after you looked at that, you know what I'm doing. I'm doing smoked oxtails. So much you can do with this. Now come on in here and take a look. Listen, I'm not finna do all of that. You know, like it's nothing to really talk about right now. I'm gonna be using my pellet grill to do my smoking, right? So look, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to season. You know what I mean? We're gonna just add our black pepper, right? Black pepper takes on a different taste. You know what I mean? When you put that heat and that smoke on it, so this is what you're gonna wanna add. Now for your seasoning, listen, I'm gonna be using my my barbecue rub, right? Now this is the rub that I use. This is gonna give me that flavor that I'm looking for. This is my go-to, folks. I finally got it. Listen, everything will be tagged in this video and down in the description box and even in the number one comment, right? So now, I'm gonna just take some of this and then listen, I want you to look at this right here and just notice how I put it on here. I like to get it everywhere. You know what I mean? It's okay. It look like I'm gonna put a lot on here, but don't worry. This is beef and it's gonna take it. And listen, I know it's, it's falling all over. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's okay, because I'm gonna get in here with these gloves and get it all over. Now, this is another low sodium product, right? That means it'll take a little bit of salt. So now just add a little bit, it's okay. Let it rain, let it do its thing. Let it just fall over, that's okay, right? So now I'm gonna keep one hand and I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna move it around, you know what I mean? I like to pat it on the bottom. You know, we wanna get it seasoned all over, but you guys get to just. Now, I'm gonna be smoking at 250 degrees, right? I'm gonna be using my Rectech, you know, this is my Rectech 680. That's gonna be my tool of choice. Okay, so look, my grill is already up to, you know, up to temp, right? I had it set at 250 degrees. I got 250 there. You guys can look, we nice and seasoned. And you know what? I went right back over the top with that black pepper. That right there is gonna be key too. So this combination of my seasoning, you know what I mean? Just a little bit of salt, you know what I mean? And that black pepper, this is it right here. Now, for those of you guys that don't have my seasoning, I'll put something down in the description box to let you know what you guys can season it with. And you can always use your own. So look, I've been on the grill all morning. So what I'm gonna do is we just wanna put them in just like this, right? I'm not putting them in no pan or nothing like that. We just wanna put them down, right? And we wanted to infuse, I'm gonna put these over here because it gets a little hotter coming this way because my exhaust is on that side. So these little smaller pieces, I like to keep these on, the, on, on this end, right? All we wanna do right now is infuse it and get it infused with some of them, you know, whatever flavor you guys use. Uh, obviously this is a pellet grill, whatever wood you're using or however you're gonna do it, but this is what we're gonna do. And we're not finna open this up and look at it no more for at least an hour and a half. Super easy and simple. Then I'm gonna show you what we do to make them tender, folks. This is what they're gonna look like after an hour and a half. Remember, I ain't opened this up, did nothing else to them, right? Come on in here and take a look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna grab them like this. Now, you know what we gotta do? We gotta get these now. We want these to be like super tender, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on my pan right here. And I'm gonna show you what we do. You're gonna like this next part. So you guys can get like a real nice close up. Look at the color right there. That's what you wanna have, folks. Listen, after being in that smoker, using your favorite pellets, you know what I mean? Or wood, which is actually the same thing. This right here, mm, I can't say enough. Okay, so look, this is gonna be the trick right here, right? Look, I got some brief broth. Now, I know a lot of times I like to put everything down at the bottom in like in the description box with your measurements. I'm gonna explain it to you this way. Now, we got oxtails, we wanna get them, you know, like super tender, right? So, what we gonna do is we just gonna pour a little bit of this in here like this. We just wanna coat them, get them about halfway. You got it now? Y'all understand it now, huh? So when I say you understand, you got it, beef broth, check it out. We got some bay leaves. We go ahead and get these going. Right, and then we got some garlic, right? Look at what I do, I just smash it, just enough to open it up just a little bit, right? We just add these. Now, if you guys like garlic like I like it, you can go ahead and uh, put more, or if you don't like it as strong, you know, don't want as much, just do a little less. Take my onions, let me clean these off. Clear this up like this. All right, get that out the way. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut these down just like you see. And I'm just gonna add this. What we're doing is we're building a lot of flavor, folks. And we're gonna get them nice and tender. Oh my goodness. We're gonna cover it. We're gonna stick it back into the smoker. You know what I mean? Bring this back up to temp. And we're just gonna get, let it get nice and soft. We're gonna use a, on the, the meat thermometer, we're gonna use the probe in to just check to make sure these are nice and tender. And then here, listen, I got to hit it, you know, one more time with a little bit of my rub, right? So. 
we just come over the top. It's okay, because you want it all to mix. This is what's gonna give it that flavor, folks, I promise you. You know what, you guys can make quesadillas, sliders, you name it, we can make it, but we're using oxtails, folks. So now we're finna go ahead and just cover it. Don't forget, dull side goes down, shiny side goes up. Remember that, folks. I love asking that question, because a lot of people be like, oh, I didn't even know it was two sides to, you know, aluminum foil. You just wanna make sure this is sealed, right? I raise my temperature up on my smoker to 275 degrees, and we finna get soft, folks. Okay, so look, we're gonna look at it right now. Now, I haven't touched this or done anything. This is about an hour and a half, right? Now, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna hit it with this probe so you guys can just see, you know, just how soft it is. Look at this right here. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is what you want. You see that right there? That's like butter. You know what I mean? Now, you guys can get the texture that you want, but I like my oxtails to be like this. See how it's starting to draw back? You see the bubbles? We didn't infuse it with the smoke. Now we didn't braise it to get it just the way it is right here. Now I'm gonna show you the next thing that you can do with it. Okay, so look, now we're gonna take these out. And then I want you to notice this too. Look, got gloves on the outside of my cut resistant cotton gloves on the inside. That's key. That allows me to touch things that are hot. You guys need to get that set up. I'll go ahead and tag it so you guys can pick some up. I'm telling you, it's the right way to go. I know you guys can look over here and see I got some of that King's wine, you know, bread, right? I'm gonna make some sliders out of them. But I want you to notice, I'm gonna go ahead and take these right here. Look, if I take these and just, you know, do them like this, look, you can see, see the smoke ring? You see how the smoke just gets all inside? And we just put it right here. Look, just take it and do that. And you know, oxtail's got that little, I guess that'd be like gristle in there too. You can just remove that once you get it all shredded down. But look at that right there. That ain't nothing but flavor, folks. So you guys see what it look like. You can see that, you can see, man, I can tell you oxtails is nice and rich and extremely juicy, right? And I can tell you it's extremely tender, right? So look, this is what I just made up. This is gonna be like my little dressing, my mayo type, you know, setup. I put a little bit on my top, you know? If you can see it got like a little bit of an orange tint to it, cause you know, I do everything a little bit on the Cajun side, right? So I'll put some in here. If you see anything green, I can tell you that's right there, that's that, Sweet relish, I like mine to have a little sweet. I love the sweet and savory. I just had somebody tell me about sweet and savory. They say they don't like it, but then when I give them examples, they was like, oh, I didn't even think of it that way. Hey, people are always talking about what they don't like. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just dress these up. I'm gonna be quiet and just let you see. And then I'm gonna let you guys hit me down that, you know, comment section below. You guys gonna be like, hey, B, you wrong for this one. Okay, folks, now after looking at all of that, you tell me what you guys think. Let me just go ahead and pull this one out of here like this. Oh, yeah. You see that right there? Look at that. And then if I open it up, get a chance to let you guys see some of that smoke ring and all of that. Listen, I'm not finna overdo it, over talk it, or none of that. Guess what, folks? Cheers. Hmm. Now, check it out, folks. I always got some kind of crazy antic or something like that. Hey, let me go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I don't know if y'all can hear that. You know I'm from the concrete jungle, right? So listen, these are my animal sounds you hear. Somebody blowing and you know, they're trying to keep up with their lawn and all of that. You know what I mean? Some of you guys got to deal with, uh, with the animals and all that, but I got to deal with all of the people out here doing that. So with that being said, listen, these are super easy to make. Don't forget, we use the pellet grill, right? You can't get no easier than that. That's like set it and forget it. But if you take a look right here, we got the trusty kettle. Kettle, coals, indirect, put it on the non-direct side, right? You let it go, keep your temperature at 250 degrees. You put some time on it, get that smoke. Then what you do, you go back in, cover it all up, add your broth, all of the seasoning you wanna do. Then you go ahead and cook it for the tenderness. And this is where that probe come in, right? Cause we checking for that tenderness. I don't even have to check to see if the meat is done. Now, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I do. I'm finna, you know what? I think I'm gonna take these, put these in my hand, move my napkin, and guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.